was so close to taking a week off. Um, I realised that yesterday was the 365th video um, since the channel started on the 19th of October last year. So by my reckoning, that means we did a year's worth of content in 51 weeks. So this close to having a week off. But then I thought you might prefer to watch the Champions League first knockout round against Red Bull Salzburg and then probably the end of the Milan mission before FM17 beta came out so I guess we'll keep going with the daily stuff for a little while longer. Hello and welcome to part 44 of the Milan Mission. I'm Kev and coming up on today's episode we are away against Red Bull Salzburg in the first knockout round of the Champions League and we have a home game in the league against Avellino, Avellino, Ava something oh. Um yeah, <laughs> the league. Oh, don't talk to me about the league. Look, since you were last with me, um we've done okay, but we've not played against anyone good. We're still behind Inter though. Um, and that's a bit of a problem. Um, it's why the Champions League takes on so much more significance. We are only one point behind Inter now, so progress since yesterday's episode. But still, you know, we we should be running away of it by now. We've got Juventus breathing down our necks as well, which is a bit of a problem. On a more positive note, look at all these goals Dybala's scoring now and playing him up front. Why didn't anyone suggest we do that sooner, eh? Um, so, what? I mean, we moved him up front there. So since then, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he's played ten games, and in that time, playing as a striker, he's scored five, seven, eight, ten, thirteen goals in ten games since he's been playing up front. That'll do, won't it? Um, hopefully, that form will continue against Red Bull Salzburg today. This is the team that we're playing for that very fixture. So in goal, we have Donnarumma. A back four of De Chilio, Romagnoli, Zuma and Makey. Um, we've got injuries at fullback. Um, is it injuries or suspensions? I can't remember what's wrong with George. I just know he can't play. Um, oh, he's got an injury. There you go. So George is out with a twisted ankle for a couple of weeks. We could have played Lazar, but I'm playing De Chilio. He's a Milan boy. Um, he's got oodles of experience. And I think Lazar's probably on his way out of the club. So De Chilio can play um, at left back for us. And he's been in great form since returning as well. So kind of want to get him in when we can. And he's never going to get in ahead of Makey. Um, Emre Chan and Mauri are in midfield. Dybala, obviously, up front with Gonzalo Guedes, Lamar and Gabriel Barbosa um, playing as the three behind Dybala, which means... Once again, Luan, Benzema, Kovacic, Bozoa, Danilo, they're all missing out. What strength in depth we have. Um, hopefully we can make use of it, though, and win win some football. We want to win the Champions League. What do we reckon? We're, where are we now? This is coming out on Wednesday, because it's Tuesday today. See, mathematical and calendar reading ability on this channel. Um so I reckon as up, we're probably, what, eight, nine, ten days away from the Football Manager 17 beta starting. We don't do Football Manager videos on Saturdays. So we've got six or seven episodes left. In fact, this is episode 44. We've got six episodes left. We finish at episode 50. Obviously, that's how it was always supposed to be. Um, so we've got six more episodes to win the Champions League. <laughs> oh, I might be changing my tune in, in five minutes' time once we see how we get on in this game. Because obviously, if we mess this up, then it's six more episodes to retain the league title. Um, Maybe win the Italian Cup. It's not quite as spectacular, is it? We want to go out with a bang and a Champions League win. Or at least a good run in the Champions League. A semi-final, final appearance. We won the Europa League last year. If we have a good run... In the Champions League this year, I think it's fair to say we're European superpowers again. We never actually specifically said we were setting out to win the Champions League. We were setting out to make Milan a European superpower again. We won the league. We won the Europa League. We're back in the Champions League. We're challenging for the league title again. There's certainly been progress. We've only spent about £800 million to get to this point. So, you know, how, what right have the Milan board got to expect a, a Champions League win? Oh, God. Um, I've got I've got my tea there, but I don't usually do videos this early. Everyone's everyone's doing stuff, so I've been sent out to the garage early. It means I'm still drinking my after dinner cup of tea. Uh, I'm all I'm all kerfuffled. I, I, mm, I need to hydrate because otherwise I won't be able to speak. Now you like having to 
listen to me slurp tea and bang it into the microphone. Goodness me. You don't get this kind of nonsense on the FIFA videos. I edit the tea slurping out of those. What just happened? We can't be losing. I, I was joking when I said there was a possibility of this game not going well. I don't even know what country Salzburg's in. Probably, it's somewhere where it snows. Probably Austria would be my guess. I'm not certain. There's, what was Donnarumma doing there? Five seasons you lot have been telling me he's the best goalkeeper and football manager or the wonder kid superstar should be playing every game. But he still does stupid stuff like that. Jack Butland sat there on the bench thinking, oh, I'd have saved that romantic fairy tale story to the end of the Milan mission. We'd win the Champions League if I was in the team, boss. But you play that young lad who you've never really rated just because in an alternate universe he was quite good for you at Man City. Uh, he was 30 then, in his 30s. He was 30 when I arrived at City. We had the best years of his career, not all this dodgy early years. Right, Guedes to Barbosa. We've got the goal back and it's a very important away goal as well. It wouldn't be a disaster if this game ended 1-1. It would be far from ideal. We'd like to go into the return leg with a cushion of a couple of goals, bear in mind the uh, the relative quality of the opposition. Um, but an away goal, not losing, that will that will do. Um, look, at, I mean, I, talking about Dybala before the match, 13 goals in 10 appearances. This is the worst he's played since he's been up front. He just doesn't... Do, does he realise there's a football match going on? How often do you see a 6.3? Oh, there he goes up to a 6.5 now. Obviously, he's got something spectacular in the offing. But we're not going to see it because the one's coming on. Because I'm not allowing, at this stage of the season, that quality of performance. Kovacic is coming on as well. Um, I mean, look at them. They're two real top quality. I mean, they're, they're both Champions League winners, I think. Kovacic, did he come from Bayern Munich? They've probably won a Champions League. Um, Luan definitely won a Champions League with Liverpool. Oh, Barbosa's in again. It's been a long... I mean, I say it's a long time since he scored. It's still his 13th of the season. He might well still be right up there of our top scorers. But it seems like an absolute age since Gabriel Barbosa scored or been the same kind of goal threat he was last year. Um, I guess he bunched them all up at the start of the season this year because we played him up front for that little while when he was scoring a lot of goals. Um, but what an important goal that is. Mr. Big Game Player. Um, and we have now got a lead against Salzburg. We're going to bring Benzema on um, for Lamar. Tuck him in behind Luan. Why not play Benzema as an attacking midfielder? Right, 10 minutes to go. Wouldn't it be nice to get a third? Barbosa's on for a, uh, a man of the match performance in the Champions League, which would be very handy. But, you know, I guess if we just don't concede at this point, we'll be happy. But we're in again here, though. Can Makey conjure up something spectacular from deep? Obviously, oh, I tell you what, that was a good ball for De Chilio. He doesn't quite get there, though, and we're potentially being broken on here. And that is not what we were looking for. That was a disaster. Why did we? Ha Why was De Chilio so far forward? Make it come across to left back almost. Played a really ambitious ball for De Chilio that almost came off. But when it didn't, it left us really exposed at the back. And Donnarumma is about seven feet tall and should not be lobbed in any circumstances. He was... He's had a nightmare. Dybala hasn't played well. Luckily, Guedes and Barbosa turned up, so it's not going to be a complete disaster. Um, although we could concede again here. 2-2 two -two against any other team at this stage of the competition we'd be happy with. We've got two away goals in the first leg. We're not losing. We should wrap it up in the return leg, but oh, what could have been if we'd have just played Butland? Cause, I mean, that's what it comes down to, if we'd have just played Butland. Right, we're at home in the league, so we're rotating. Not massively, but just enough to keep some nice fresh legs out there. Lazar missed out on the last game. He's in for this one. He's at, we've actually accepted a couple of transfer bids for him because um, he's on his way out the door. But he gets a game today. Little Gomez comes in for Zuma as well. Um, we've changed the midfield around completely. Danilo and Bertolacci coming in in midfield. Bonaventura is in on the left-hand side, moving Guedes over to the right so he can rest. Barbosa, Bonaventura, Bertolacci, Lazar are all on the transfer list and all probably leaving the club. In fact, Bonaventura already has a transfer arranged. He's joining Newcastle in the summer. Um, but why not give him a little game today? It'd be nice for him to get one last, one last league title. So, you know, he's got a reason to still want to do well out there. And we all remember just how good and how important he was in those early seasons, getting those goals, tucking him from the left-hand side. We're playing him as a winger out there today. Um, in fact, that's just stupid because Guedes is better over here as a winger. 
Um, so we'll make him a winger. We'll make Bonaventura an inside forward. This might well be the last time we see Bonaventura flying in off the wing to grab a goal or two. The way he always used to. He was so important. He got so many goals in those first few seasons. Um, but with the arrival of the likes of Guedes and Luan and Barbosa and Dybala, they just ha- there's not a spot in the squad for him anymore. So he is going to be moving on in the summer along with some of the more established players. doesn't affect any of us because none of us will be here to see it happen. Oh, for goodness sake. Who are at Avalar? They were, they were bottom of the league until that goal went in. We're 1-0 down against the team bottom of the league. Yes, we've rotated a bit, but not massively. This would have been much stronger than our first choice team two years ago I mean there's, there's, it's not like we've got untried kids in there the back four is strong we were playing that back four in the league three years ago including Donnarumma behind them Danilo and Bertolacci played together loads of times and are a strong midfield in this league the front four is better than anything else anyone else in this division has got to offer. Bertolacci. Well, it was all about Bonaventura before it all started. But talk, I mean, yes, Bonaventura used to score a lot of goals, but Bertolacci has a penchant for the spectacular. And we've just seen it again, probably for the last time. You've seen an absolute thunderbolt from Bertolacci. Uh, oh. We haven't got anyone who does that now, apart from Maori, very, very rarely. And it is, I mean, it's just fun to see, isn't it? But again, look at the other central midfielders we've got. There's just not a squad spot for him. But, oh, I love it when he does that. We're facing the flat back seven again today. We haven't, well, I, there's less of this in Italy, five years on. I know I moaned about it a lot when we first started the Milan mission, but four and a half, five years into the future, we don't see a lot of flat back seven anymore, which is odd because we're a much better team than we were then. Certainly should be feared more than we were back then as well. But I don't know, perhaps more more attacking football in Italy in general. But yeah, I guess it's flattering to see the occasional flat back seven wheeled out. They're playing with absolutely no midfield. Yet we're not dominating the midfield. I mean, I guess we've only got two men in there. But still, part of me wants to drop Lamar deep so we have a three-man midfield and just don't let them have the ball. Just keep hold of the ball, knock it around them, tie them out. But I haven't got the skill or the knowledge of what all the buttons do. Despite nearly, what, seven, eight hundred hours playing FM17, I don't know what to tell the game to do to make it do that. I know in my head what we should be doing. I don't know how to actually make it happen. Little Gomez nearly grabbing himself a goal there, um, but we win another corner. Romagnoli in now, and he makes the foul. If we don't win this game, I think officially our title challenge is over. Yes, as it stands, we'll still only be one point behind, so I might be a little dramatic, but it just feels like, you know, if we can't win a game like this, what hope have we got, really? We're going to play against... 18 teams better than this one between now and the end of the season so if we can't beat these jokers when we really really need to we've got a chance to go top of the league if we can't do it right now let's just give up on the league and focus fully on the Champions League Dybala's in though and he's got a goal it's 2-1 forget all that nonsense my my conceding the league speech we're now top of the table we're one point ahead of Inter Bonaventura plays it through to Dybala he tucks it in for what what did we say is that now his 14th goal in 11 or 12 games playing as a centre forward and yeah he's giving it the old arrow pull thing yeah he knows his superheroes that was a tribute to me because he knows I'm drinking out of my arrow mug this evening whilst wearing a flash t-shirt Dybala's in again he's won a penalty who gets to take it See, I'd give this to Bonaventura. He's not going to get it, is he? But, but, oh, a red card as well. Bertolacci's already scored his goodbye goal. Let Bonaventura score a goodbye goal now. But it's not. It's going to... Who's 14? Is that Lamar? I think that's Lamar. It is Lamar. And he scores. And it's 3-1. And suddenly, all that panic from a few minutes ago is subsiding. I mean, we have absolutely dominated the game. We'll just watch this penalty be tucked away by the man himself. Bit of an iffy penalty, but they all count, I hear, on the grapevine. Um, look, we've absolutely <laughs> dominated them, um, but we have made hard work of it to, to to some extent. Right, let's make some substitutions now. There's some tired legs out there. Um, oh, I'm full of cliches today. Let's get Guedes off. Um, we'll have Luan on. I'm tempted to bring whoever Manuel Torisi on is, 
but Luan needs game time so he can come on um, we'll take Danilo off as well and again Emre Cham not playing enough games so he can come in and have a bit of game time as well Although, didn't, didn't we just play him in the Champions League I can't even remember now perhaps Brazoa needed the game time more we've got too many midfielders I don't even know how Bertolacci started today's game but good oh Dybala what a goal See, he wasn't doing that. Why does he need to be playing up front to do that? He did nothing like that when we were playing him on the wing. Is this just a confidence thing? That is the most perfect free kick you will see in Football Manager 2016. Without question. Why couldn't he do it when he was out on the wing? Um, Last change. Lamar's coming off. We'll bring Rashford on. He can't play in the Champions League. We swapped him. In fact, no, he was never in, was he? Um... Yeah, so he can't play in the Champions League, so we'll give him as much time as possible in the league. He probably should have started today. Um, so we're still trying to develop Rashford, but I guess he's going to be one that didn't really come off. It's 5-1 now. Can you believe 20 minutes ago we were worrying that we, we might be about to concede the league title? We want six, we want six, etc., etc. Um, let's, I mean, look at that. Whoa. Now I see why they're top, bottom of the league. What a What a bunch of jokers. Right, let's go on, let's grab another one. Let's make them look really silly. They've only got 11 points all season. We've probably scored more goals against them over the course of the season and they've they've attained points. Um, Ron Magnoli, hoofs it clear. Surely the last kick of the game. It's not, but we've got mere seconds left. Bonaventura finds Bertolacci for old time's sake. And we've won 5-1. Marvellous stuff. Um, yes, we're top of the league. Yes, we're going to stay there. And we're going to be back with our next episode with the second part of of the Champions League first knockout round with, I guess, the Palermo or Cesena game um, either side of it. In the meantime, we might even qualify for the Spanish... Spanish? Probably not the Spanish Cup final. The Italian Cup final, because we've got a 3-0 lead against Juventus from the first leg. So, stick the reserves out in that one, eh? Beat them with the reserves. That'll learn them. Um, If you've enjoyed that, make sure you pop a like on there for me. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. And thank you very much for watching.